What's up, it's your boy Robert Courtney. Let's build for a minute. Listen, let me see how many of your questions I can answer in 60 seconds or less. Let's go. What is your favorite social media platform at the moment? Facebook is my favorite platform. Why is Facebook your favorite platform? Facebook is my favorite because most people there has watched my story, they have context. So when I post, I feel like I have the best understanding of that audience. Do you feel like the time of day that I post matters on getting traction to my post? It does matter for analytics. It matters over time. If you want to build content around your schedule, then it does matter. But I feel content should be posted around your schedule so you don't feel like it's a task or a chore to post. So use the times that's recommended but also, if it's preventing you from being consistent, then don't worry about the times and force the algorithm to move according to your schedule. Don't be getting my trash. <laughs> like the rain is like freezing again a little bit. You feel that? A little, a little slippery, a little crunchy. Uh, we're about to grab some food before we go and take a tour of some nice sweets. That's a partnership that we're trying to develop because there's going to be a lot of people coming to Detroit for the Detroit, uh, NFL draft and we're trying to establish as many hospitality scenarios as possible. So this will be one of many that you'll get to tour with us. I'm looking forward to it. Let's go get some boot crust. technically not supposed to be eating meat or chicken sorry but this chicken is different like this chicken is uh, it's the healthy like the uh, it's like the blessed chicken and so halal halal yeah, there you go so this it's chicken, not different huh it's not different it is different. It's not different i'm okay with this type of chicken basically is what i'm trying to say but i haven't ate any chicken in it's been like two months Detroit. Bucharest is a legendary Detroit establishment and typically the food is top tier. They're really known for the shawarmas. So if you ever come to Detroit and you want a, a shawarma sandwich, make sure you check out Bucharest. Ask for extra garlic. I gotta go talk to people today so I couldn't mess with that. But it slaps. Oh, I should have told no tomatoes. Crap. I said, this guy in his charger just seen me wipe, almost wipe out so bad. But I got cat like balance. It didn't fall. It's close though. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. Ooh, you my... How'd you make it safe? made it, I was about to say. And then it started like doing the icy slushy stuff thing again. 
Welcome. welcome to Michigan. Yeah, I know. Welcome to the home two sweets, West Bluefield. Say it's welcome, nice. welcome, welcome. So nice. Are you are you cool with me getting some content? Yeah, sure. Okay, well this is the home two suites. Um, this is our lobby area. Um, this is more of an extended state property. Uh, it's all suites here. Uh, so this is our breakfast area. It's more of a grab and go, but it is a hot breakfast. Um, you have your continental, your yogurt, your your fruits, your danishes. They do a hot um, package, pre-packaged sandwich, so every day is different. They have like a Jimmy Dean breakfast um, with egg yolk, turkey legs. Each day is different. Hot. Um, you have your coffee teas over here. Now, what's the difference between this property and Now, okay. next door has kings or two coins. Oh, okay. Here, I only have suites. Now, we needed a meeting space. I guess that's so we got to be catered. Right. As long as there's no alcohol, come on. Right. Different type of setups. This is a classroom setup. We could do it as a U-shape setup. There's three different kind of U-shape, a classroom, or a boardroom style. No. One, I'll say what kind of event is it for, okay. what dates, let me check availability, how many people. Um, are you looking just to just sit and just talk? Do you need coffee and tea? Right. You know, that's additional. So yeah. But just for the space itself? Just for the space itself, it's 575 for the four day. Four day. Now, if you, it's a group or it's a wedding and they want room space for either properties. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, that's different. I may show a little love. Right. Um, if it's just for a meeting, just for an hour or so, depending on the clientele, you probably could just have it for yourself. Okay. Absolutely, well, absolutely. I just started thinking like, I wonder like a person in your position, how you could probably propel everything through how you market yourself mm -hmm. to create so many sale opportunities. You hear? Yeah. Yes, so sir. are you on that tip right yeah. now or are you not I really? Feel, no, absolutely. Okay. Okay. And okay. after meeting, listen, when I left <laughs> after meeting y'all, you like... <laughs> After talking to the Chris, and started, I'm, like, a little bit. I'm in this role for a reason. Like yeah. I've been in sales, I've been in a hotel since I was 16 years old. Yeah. Like in Southfield, they hired me and wasn't supposed to hire me. I started at Cedar Point doing reservations for all the resorts on property. Yeah. This has always been a passion, hospitality, but I never wanted to do sales. Got it. Never. Yeah, you don't even have to do the sales never. though. All you have to do is attract people. You hear? But yeah. listen, within my product, within the last two years, going out, doing the pop-ups, mm -hmm. all of this I feel do like came in together and this is nothing but God's time honestly Got I do it. feel that and after speaking with y'all like, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 I'm yeah. like you elbows I, yeah. I, you know I, not yeah. just my product getting in the right room yeah the right room at the right table mm -hmm. yes sir yeah that's what's up so it's spinning so it's not it's it's, it's networking for all okay. absolutely okay. yes so you uh you fill in the funnel up with opportunities yes okay good deal that's that's what I'm doing this year that's my season that's well, that's it. Exactly. Listen, because I prayed on this. I prayed. Look, I yeah. prayed for resources, networking, a mentor, well, we all coming. of that. So, we coming. opportunities, <laughs> absolutely. So, I'm super that's excited. Up. Okay. Good you deal. on the right path. You on the right path, buddy. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. I'm going to show you. So, this is our lobby area. Um, you can stay for 30 days if the power's out. Um, I'll show you the room that we can show the fitness center. Okay. Um, it all depends. We have had guys here that from the time the hotel first opened oh, to so yeah, here. They just left. They oh, just, wow. just left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have our contract business. This here is the King Studio Suite oh. with a shower. Um, so, as with the suites, it's used for the chili. King, sofa pull out. Did you like this one to make their air? house and like everybody like the it's politics in every industry yeah like every industry yeah. did i have to eat um that which one that one this one right here the love yeah we call ourselves we're a very very small property mm -hmm. very like this we say this is your home like your home yeah we say it for both of like for here it's kind of like super homely super yeah. like friendly um and right here at the front desk is like 
like your home away from home, like your long lost cousins or yeah, something that you just never knew. That's the culture. That's our whole lobby area here. Show you the next door. But ours, we, the same thing. Yeah, but uh, you know, uh, Hampton's a little bit better. Like okay. they rooms, it's like, oh my God, I can find it. Mm -hmm. we, you know, folks say, oh, you guys got a yeah. cool, nice corner area. And then we also have like a little patio area back there where folks will go and chill out or uh, overflow when it's a party or wedding. Let me confirm a room for you and I'll show you the breakfast area. The breakfast area. This is a bigger, bigger space. Let me turn the light on in here so you can see. Come get your food and privacy. What's like the average rate for here versus like average rates for. Yeah, it varies, but like say for now. Like on a random rate. Wednesday, Thursday. Like 139, and the okay. next door can be like 149 and 159. Okay. And then you guys got like the Hilton perks, or like yeah. the member, what is it called? Hilton Honors. Hilton yeah. Honors, that's so what you have your blue, your silver, your gold, and your diamond. Yeah. Or you can say. Yeah, or, okay. or, or, so I'm not to look into that. Got two rooms down here, and then we can go to the, show you that little small room here. Here's our, our little bit of machine. Um, there's a pot machine on each floor. Great. Front desk. And they're super great. I tell everybody all the time, they close at 8. Whatever you want, from breakfast to lunch to dinner. It is amazing. Yes. I don't like those curtains like that. This is a two queen room. Nowadays, the hotels, they really don't do a lot of closet space unless they use that closet or uh, dressers. Mm -hmm. So, here you go, super simple, easy. Just pull it out, put your clothes in. Got it. Yeah, because who, who really pulling all, all their stuff and putting it? People, in? listen, they hate this. They, Do they hate it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the closet space here is not just enough. This isn't enough. This isn't enough. <laughs> <laughs> they need a little bit more room. If you're going to be there for like a week, then I get it. But anything less than that, my stuff going to stay inside the suitcase. Anyway. Yeah. Right here for a king. Friend does. And then our king, we have two face. different type of kings. One's a king with the sofa pullout, and then the other one could be a king with a case. Of course, the king with the sofa pullout is way spacier. Yeah, this is definitely a lot more room. You see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Relax. Clear somebody or a one on one. Anything. Yep, this is it. You down for a picture real quick? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just act like we have an important meeting. <laughs> Make sure my stomach's up there, girl. I need to move up. Are you got it? Got it. time to go spend time with somebody when you don't have to like you're not paying me anything like I'm not no, I am here for mutual Listen. benefit <laughs> like we need it's a win-win situation yes. but I just feel like that extra energy to go make those relationships is important a little yeah. better way yeah <laughs> yeah 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 I'm so excited I'm all, so all excited different, different different parts of the city oh, different areas man. of the city yeah you doing some good stuff Rob your, your wheels is you never stop. You're trying to slow down. Not stop. Listen, here, you had me up charged ready at 5 a.m. Like, I was on it this Friday. I'm like, I can't, I can't run it to him and then don't miss the chat. Like, I gotta. Yeah. What did you it's, think about it? It was dope. It was yeah. dope. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry I wasn't gonna like send my selfie chat. I'm like, should I do it right now? I'm gonna wait after the thing. We're gonna get ourselves together. Yeah, but yeah. the next step, maybe the next class, would be like, 
is y'all up? Is y'all ready? Is y'all watching me still in the bed? Because I'm still watching you in the bed. So I did go back to sleep for two seconds, and then I woke back up. I was like, but I'm still ready. Yeah, I did yeah, my yeah. prayer. I got yeah. everything going. Like, At least you stayed on it for the time you did. Listen, the yeah. whole time. No, no, no. I was on there before you. After you, yeah, I was on there before you. I got you. It's cool. Yeah, <laughs> no, um, but. I was been trying to get feedback. Charged up. It was good. It was, it was great. It was yeah. dope. I just think you just taking your time out on uh, in the morning just trying to give people the opportunity to say, hey, mm -hmm. what have you done? What What's different? What you got going on? That's dope. And build a That's network, dope. like a different network that you probably, like, a lot of my people are so... They all over. They all over. And they're not yeah. just from the city. Correct, correct. And they, they have different types of networks, yeah. you know, and so it's real estate agents, hospitality, restaurant owners, like... All these different people who yeah, yeah, never get yeah. to see each other or talk to each other because they don't really deal in the same spaces. And so, yeah, I, I love those. Working. Yeah, I love those. those I, I got like a friend request that we put our thing in there and say, okay, what's okay, real estate? Hey. I'm trying to get on real estate. <laughs> that's what that is in my mindset. So, that's what's dope. That's what's okay, up. so yeah. Good stuff. Good opportunities. Awesome. So, next time you're going to have like 60, like you were saying each time. I know, so I'm trying to say. Yeah, like you know what's strange? The first week I have 43, the second week I have 58, last week we have 48. And so I feel like we're going we hovering around the 50, which if it was five people, I would be excited. Like, I ain't tripping on that. Let's take a wrap. Oh, no, no, me. Oh, you're just talking about this. But I'm just talking about the label got it, itself. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Yes, yes, yes. So you said that this, you used it a few times. You don't know what you did and you lost it. Yes, but you I know that it was too strong. Yeah. Well, no, it wasn't necessarily this too strong. Right it just, I was kind of saying, like, right, I'm big go. on... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. too much. Yeah. That's you say. Yeah, that's yeah, it. And <laughs> what you yeah. think about that one? No, this is good. This See, is good. Vanilla. It's lighter. Yeah. So the guys that has used extra strength and that's using the the lighter one now, mm -hmm. they use that in the morning. And they're like, yeah. So I will use the extra strength at night. Got it. Use yes, that in the daytime before work. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. No, thank you for getting yeah, the close up. I'm about to be nice and shiny, and I'm going to smell good too. Yeah. 2024 Cove year. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. You want a picture? Yes. Okay. So, <clears throat> so that was a really, really cool tour. Um, one of the many places that you'll get to see. I think Amber did a great job explaining the amenities. 139 to 149 like I think for what you get I think that's a very fair price if you're in the Southfield West Bloomfield area and you need a spot call me because you know Rob got the rewards and uh you probably can get some perks worked out for you so it's your boy Robert Courtney Peace. Oh, uh, Black Friday podcast is in here filming now usually this room is booked um so on Wednesdays, we come to the office and usually we talk about clients, we talk about accounts, how we can perform better, what's working, what's not working. And usually we try to incorporate some type of learning exercise to help make sure our account managers and our team is staying up to par with the latest and greatest that's happening in social. So today we're gonna talk about probably engagement, how to create more engagement on your accounts, things that you can do, um, things that's worked for us in the past. And uh, we may get into a little bit of uh, brand voice if we have time, so we'll see. All right, let's go. You go first. In accounts where I'm going to go and engage in those comments and with those people every day at around 10 a.m. And the amount or the time frame, those things don't. Like you do it based on your bandwidth, your schedule, and the amount of time that you feel you can commit to. But obviously, if it's for us, for our accounts, then um, I would set it up for like either a month or like a 90-day increment. So like for Murray's, for example, I would say like let's do 90 days, and you establish the amount of accounts based on the number of actions that we're going to do. Per day so I'm thinking 10 actions per day or 40 to 50 actions per week and when I say action is that means a like a comment a reply 
etc. But building it out around a specific category of people. So an example of that would be we're going after potential braid, potential clients who have braids who want to use braid products. And so we're going to build out our maybe two or three brands who are similar to the products that Murray's offer. And then we're going to go into those comments and research those people. So maybe it's the top influencers who talk about braids. That could be like a salon owner. It could be an actual salon. We can go into the brands who offer products that's similar to Murray's. So we're going to build out a list of the accounts that we're going to use this strategy. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's your boy Robert Courtney filling in for Nicole Pay. And today we are extremely excited to have our guests, the real estate extraordinaire, one of the leading EXP teams in the country. Miss LaShawn Peterson Jackson, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. It is just a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much yeah. for uh, making it happen last minute for this little part, uh -huh. though, because you said you were raised by your grandparents. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about why were you raised by your grandparents? Yeah, yeah, we can talk about that. So both of my parents were... So just finally leaving the Detroit office, we did the RPR podcast. I said it for Nicole. She has something to do tonight. Um, we interview LaShawn from the Peterson Jackson team. Great interview. Uh, before that, I was coaching um, my Woodhaven team who is still struggling, but we, we're trying to figure it out. And now I'm tired. I'm a little hungry. I'm going to go grab some food and uh, get ready to call it a night. But I might, I might do a podcast before I go to sleep. Right? It just depends on how I'm feeling. Anyway, it's been a great day. We got a lot of stuff done and uh, looking forward to wrapping this week up. So it's hump day. Let's get it. See you Friday at 5 a.m.